everybody ready? Let's talk about it. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Janae, and I'm back with another one. Hope y'all doing good today. So I want to get right into it. Child, this Jamie Foxx situation is just getting crazy and crazy about the day. Okay, so remember his daughter, Corinne, she first came out and she told us that he was having a medical emergency and that, you know, he's been hospitalized and because of the quick thinking of the doctors and he got there in time, you know, he'll be okay. Okay, fine. We ain't hear nothing from her. Mind you, this was back in April, like April 11th, I believe, somewhere around there. So we ain't hear nothing else about it for a while. So people were speculating, okay? First, it was P. Diddy because Jamie Foxx was running his mouth about the parties that's going on at P. Diddy house, okay? Then it was Scientology. <laughs> Tom Cruise, you know, and the Scientologist wanted to get back at Jamie because of Tom's ex-wife. Okay, so now we're hearing all kind of stories about Jamie Foxx. Then one other outlet, I think it's Rap Game, they came out and said that basically he's on his bed. He about to be out of here. And then after they said that, then Corinne came back and she was like, uh-uh, my daddy's all right. My daddy been out the hospital for weeks now. Matter of fact, he over there playing pickleball. You know, and everybody like, what? During this time, we've been hearing about pray for him. You know, we need his prayers. We ain't hear nothing from Jamie. He allegedly posted something on, on, um, on social media, but that could have been anybody. So everybody's still wondering what in the world is going on with Jamie. So after we hearing that um, he's about to be up out of here, his daughter Corinne came back and said he was playing pickleball and what have you. And I don't think anybody believed her. I, myself, I'm, I'm still leery. I still don't know if Jamie's here or not. But now it's being said that um, TMZ, because you know everybody believe TMZ. TMZ is saying that he's in Chicago in a rehab, okay, d- recovering. And his family was spotted there and so forth. So hopefully that's where he's at and hopefully he's getting, the, you know, the help he needs. With that all being said, this girl came out and she had a whole bunch to say about this whole Jamie Foxx situation. Y'all check this out. Games, but since he's talking about it, I'm going to talk about it. Before I do, though, everything in this video is alleged. And for entertainment purposes only, I have to say that. Also, I value my own life. I'm so serious when I say that. I value my own life. Okay, because Diddy likes to do it. So back in the 90s, my mom nicknamed Jamie Foxx. Like if you take the O out of his name and replace it with a U, that's what she used to call him. But to his face, it's like a ha-ha joke because he used to bang so many guys and girls in Hollywood. And he used to have these things called butt naked basketball games, okay? He would invite over a lot of like Hollywood's elite to his house for a basketball game but it was men only and they would be like oh we're just gonna get naked and play basketball it's like oh ha ha let's get naked and play basketball together which is weird and this happened in the 90s so a lot of your like favorite celebrities were there including someone who may or may not been married to someone who was drinking that lemonade if you want to know like who was probably at these games just look at like who P. Diddy and Jamie Foxx have been hanging around for years. Especially the like the super successful ones. Usher was definitely there. Justin Bieber tried to warn you guys about this. I'm inserting these for proof. So I was talking about this with my friend the other day. And they texted me and was like, weren't we just talking about this? And I was like, what? Here's what the link said. <laughs> but read what I said in response to that. Yeah. That's why I say I value my own. Also, I feel like people are going to think that this is just about, like, black men. It's not. <laughs> they were not discriminating. A lot of, like, famous white actors were there, too. And, side note, I know men that have been invited to the parties that knew about this. Like, if people at the radio station knew, like, come on, you think everybody didn't know. And they wouldn't go because they were like, we're not down with that. That's, like, weird. When I heard about the Jamie Foxx situation, I was literally, like, seven years old. And a lot of you guys don't understand that I practically lived 
at radio stations with my mom. Like, I was there 24-7. I was always at the radio station. So I got to hear adults talking about things because I was a fly on the wall at that point. So seven-year-old Crystal heard about these celebrity butt-naked basketball games, and I couldn't remember who he even was. I just remember thinking at that time, I was like, why do those men want to play basketball naked together? Like, that's so silly. Like, they're funny. And it didn't dawn on me until I was, like, an adult that I was like, oh. And just to be clear, that this was not a judgment on Jamie Foxx at all. He was vocal about it, and he didn't mind telling people. This was in the 90s. It was fun. This is in reference to who attended Jamie Foxx's butt-naked basketball games. Okay. This is, consider this my celebrity blind item. This was a man who is currently married to a woman, a famous woman who loves lemonade. I'm going to insert random sounds now. This man who was married, who is married to this woman was engaging in these acts with other men allegedly at Jamie Foxx's butt naked basketball game. Insert some random clips now. And I just want to say, allegedly, totally allegedly, I hope that one day P. Diddy has his R. Kelly day. Because he has the longest rap sheet of any. So, <laughs> she said what she said. And, I mean, she has pictures to prove that, you know, she was in the radio stations and stuff like that. So, I don't know. But shortly after she said that, she had this to say. Very recently, I did some videos. And uh, those videos got back to someone. And I got a phone call from someone. I got a phone call from someone. And I just want to apologize for anyone that I offended. I take back everything that I said. And the videos are privated now. So, I don't know who that young lady got the call from. I don't know if it was Jay-Z or if it was Diddy. Because she said both of their names. She even said Ursha. But, check this out. Back in, um, this is Double XL Magazine. Back on June 26, 2007, they wrote, is Jay-Z on the DL? Okay? And this is in reference to the guy named Larry Johnson. He, he plays for um, Kansas City Chiefs back then, and he was also a male model, right? So that's how someone in the building wrote in and asked this. So they wrote and said, I'm writing you to ask a question. I work in the building. Jay-Z lives in Trump Tower, and though him and B are together, I've never seen her in this building. But what's strange to me, I see Larry Johnson all the time. In fact, he lives with Jay-Z. The other night, they attending Cav and Nets games. When did they become so close? And why is Larry living with Jay? I have some video footage from phone of them together in the building. Is Jay gay? Okay. So, again, there's been rumors about him being on that side of things. So, who knows, child? This stuff, <laughs> to think from Jay, Jamie Foxx going in the hospital, having a medical emergency, to now Jay-Z is, you know, hitting for the other team. This stuff get crazy and crazier every day. So, this here is the infamous Larry Johnson and Jay-Z. Okay, not a bad looking man, that Larry Johnson. But yes, this is them back in the days okay and here go a picture of Bay with both of them beyonce and both of them so child who knows what the heck been going on over there so that double xl magazine wasn't the only article that was questioning jay-z sexuality in this article here this says 10 years ago but this article is asking is jay-z is Jay gay, Jay-Z, and Jamie Foxx secret lovers? Question mark. So it goes on to say, Foxy Brown, whose real name is Inga, has revealed that her ticket to rap success came at a price and that it all happened while she was underage. She says the man who put her on the game, the rap game Jay-Z, 
then 27 years old, took her virginity when she was just 15 years old. Adding Hova, who she says has a horse dangling, funded her shopping trips and pampering at hair and nail salons while she was still in high school, all to get into her peonies. But that's not all. Foxy claims Jay-Z is an undercover tranny chaser. She says she learned that that after she learned that after a tranny began calling her and harassing her not long after jay-z gave her gonorrhea yes he done gave mm, child foxy says one of her sessions one of her encounters with jay-z was all caught on tape that's when foxy says she and jay weren't alone their company was the real wanda from in living color Mr. Jamie Foxx, according to Foxy, Jay-Z signed her a multiple gag. Jay-Z signed her to multiple gag orders for where she, Jamie, and Jay engaged in a threesome. And that and that not long after the incident, the tape was ironically robbed from her home. Foxy insists Jay-Z has something to do with that robbery. Okay. Besides chase, besides alleging that Jay Z chases trannies, Foxy says there was one constant man in Hove's life. According to Foxy, Jay Z and Larry Johnson, that's the guy I just showed y'all in that picture, were buddies. Okay, was sleep buddies. This doesn't seem so far fetched, given the fact that Jay once shared an apartment with the NBA baller who once rapped Rockaware. During her no holds bar account of her experience with Jay Z, Foxy was reported to clearly to clearly display a strong disliking for Jay's wife Bay. Here's what Foxy had to say about Miss Hova. Now he is with Bay. F that halitosis infected heifer. So she ain't like. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So like I said before, that girl Crystal, she got a phone call from somebody. I don't know who that somebody is. It could be Jay. It could be Puffy, you know, because you heard what she said. She, she basically, she loves her life and Puffy is about, you know, yeah. But this could be a reason why it could be Puffy. Because remember Puffy, everybody been saying that Puffy get down with the get down and he swing the other way. Miami is just his beard. You know, they said he messed with Clive Davis, a whole bunch of folks. So it ain't no secret about Puffy. Sorry, I can no longer help you guys. Soon you will all be gay and happy. You are all now left under leadership of Puffy Daddy. Report to the nearest rainbow. Then the thieves. No, I don't know that that was going on. You know, I can't wait to run into him. See what you gonna say to him? Puffy was playing with your booty in Miami. You know, it was in Miami. Yo, look, that's what James Cruz used to say all the time. Miami, Miami. He's like Miami. I'm like, what's the what you talking about, Miami? What happened in Miami? Oh. <laughs> what? 
I'm a nice guy. I mean, why you a hey, yo. Well, what y'all think? This whole Jamie Foxx situation just turned into a whole, it went down a whole different rabbit hole. Jamie got sick and now his sexuality is being questioned and it's just so much going on. Do y'all really think that Jamie was messing with Jay? I don't know y'all, but this is getting weirder and weirder, but I'm here for it. I'll be sitting back and listening and <laughs> following the rabbit hole. All right. Tell me what y'all think in the comment section. What you think is really going on with Jay? What do you think was going on with Jay-Z and um, Jamie and them daggone basketball, naked basketball? You think that was for real? All right. Let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace. Oh, one other thing. Y'all think that girl Crystal going to end up getting missing? Because you know she said she got a phone call and the video is already out there. A lot of people already recorded it and screenshotted it. Screen recorded it. So you think her life is on the line? And why isn't Usher mom being investigated for sending Usher over there to P. Diddy's house when he was like 13 years old? That's just crazy. All right, I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.